What's up YouTube? This is the seafood man. We're going to do some snapper fishing later, later on. Um, some fishing for some mangrove snapper. So we are here to show you how we set up a simple rig um, for the mangrove snapper. Uh, that, that rig is called the Carolina rig. Right, so um, the, I'm going to show you how we set up that rig. Right, because some of you guys been asking what type of rig you use to catch what species of fish. And this, these two rigs that we're going to show you, which is the Carolina rig and the knocker rig, we use that those two rigs mainly for to catch fish uh, that, that feeds on the bottom of the sea, right? Like snappers and groupers and anything that feeds on the bottom of the sea. So this is the sea footman. I'm going to take you through the steps, right? So watch him carefully and hope you can catch no fish after him finish. Show you, all right. All right. Um, we are using a, a size two mustard oak. Mustard. So that's a size two mustard oak. Right. And and I took out one already. See there. Right. And we are using a, a swivel. This is a swivel here. A size two oak plus a, a egg sinker, running sinker. This is yeah. a one ounce. One ounce running egg sinker. Right. Egg sinker. All right. So I will get to the point now. Um, here we have um. It's a 15 pound test, trialing, 15 pound. You can see it? Yeah man, it's 15. Yeah, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off about an 18 inch. From about here to here. That's about maybe about 18. Alright, we're going to clip it like this. Alright, um, what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little knot. I do, I, I do my own different from the others. I make a little knot like this. It's similar knot to a clinch yeah. knot. So, so clinch if you know how to do a clinch knot, it's just similar. But you just use a little knot right there so to make sure it don't pull away from the... Right, and then I make a knot here. On the on both side. Right here and on the other side. Right, like this. Draw a little, draw a tight, a little tight here and then... You clip off the excess of motor line from the from the knot right here. Right. What do you know? This is a swivel. You put it through the swivel here, right? Like this. Alright. We're gonna make about about five twists. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna push it back through here. Right, and then we're going to join on it like this. Put it down like this and then we'll do like this. Simple, you see? On the other side, other end, we, we, do, we use the hook now. Size 2 hook. Put it back through here. And then we make 5 twists here. That's the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put it back through like this and then make a draw again. Just like that. See? So we have a rig here. You can see? Yeah. This is the X sinker now. Now we're using a 7 feet rod. 7 feet rod. Yes. This is an eel club. Maybe a small, just a, a light, not, not very heavy. Just, you know, not too heavy and just a 7 feet rod. You can't use even 6 feet. It doesn't matter. The snappers them not that big. Only when you're going offshore and catching big snappers now you use some big heavy duty rod. But like the, the snappers just that we catching, you don't need such a heavy rod. Alright, um oh this is a one ounce egg sinker, running sinker. The main line on the rod, the reel, is 17 pound test trident. 17 pound and the leader from the hook to the to the swivel is 15 pound test. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put through the egg sinker here. Run it right through here. Come back through. Then we're gonna make a knot just the same. Right. Make a knot like this. And then cut off the excess mount. Put it back through the silver here. See right? See you have a leader here. Put it back through. And make five twists again. One, two, three. Four, five. Put it back like this and draw, and that's it. 
Oh, that is called what? The Carolina rig. Carolina rig. Yeah, see Very that? effective on snapper fishing. All right. And that is why we catch so many snappers. So guys, look at that rig. Try it. You must catch snapper. All right. All right. All right. And you catch a lot of snapper. So we're going to show you now how to do the knocker rig. So the knocker rig. Don't move. All right, my friends. All right. The seafood man just show you a while ago now how to set up a Carolina rig. Now I'm going to show you my favorite rig, the knocker rig. All right. With the knocker rig, let us use a simple 15 pound line. This is 15 pound trial line. As I said, I'm not using, I'm not using a, a very thick line because the snappers are using fishing for, right? So, what we're going to need is a one ounce sinker. Any type of hook you want. Can use a little bigger or a little smaller. It depends on the type of fish you're catching and the size. This is a number two mustard hook, right? And we, we, we normally put a bead. You don't have to put the bead, but I'm going to tell you why I put in a bead. Alright? So how we go about this now? Simple. We put the line through the sinker just like this. Very similar to the Carolina rig, right? That's how you did. Put on the, 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 the sinker, right? I could go ahead and tie this on right here. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put on a bead. And the reason for the bead is that normally when you're throwing out the line, this sinker come right down on the top of the hook here and damage the line and cause the fish to break off when they catch a big fish so normally we just put a bead there to protect the line right from the sinker damaging the line so you just do like this simple right and you're going to use a, a clinch knot right so we're going to use one two three four five and then you go around with the hand the tag end and you put it right back through there and you draw it down like that. Right? And you clip off the excess. And see, this is what you have. A knocker rig. Knocker rig. This rig is very effective catching snappers and anything that feeds on the bottom of the sea. Right. right? And trust me, if you set up your line like this, you will catch a lot of snappers. And watch me later on. Alright, catch you later at the seaside. What's up my YouTube friends? Live bait. We're doing some live bait fishing around here this time. See there? Seafoot man have him live bait, you know, going put out now. <laughs> yeah, seafoot man, I can't throw him out. Yeah, this is part two, mangrove stopper fishing. Now we're just out here, night falling now. I uh, see there, night falling, so hopefully later we can catch some more mango snapper. Uh, I hope we catch a five pound snapper, mango snapper, or a snapper. Maybe I ten pound snapper. Yeah, 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 ten pound snapper. Alright. Give me a June fish. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll catch up with you as soon as we catch something. Yo. Yeah, say something now. See there? Yeah, I'm seeing there now. I'm going again. Nice Yeah. Yeah, it's not fine. That's the first one. First one. First one. There's a man. Hook him. What kind of fish that? Yeah, hold him, hold him, hold him, see for man, hold him. Snapper? Yeah, that's come easy. Come yeah, on, hold him, hold him. You don't know what kind of fish that yet, so fight him up this way. What do feel like? Alright. When we catch him, we'll come back to you. Here, guys. Why? See if man hook up again in the mud. Why? I'm come a while ago and something roll him. It's a barrel, you know. Okay, you see? The mole is back here, right back to him tail. But the teeth, if you can see the teeth mark, right? Why? A big barrel just hold him a while ago and then chop him in two. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hold him and then almost take him out, take him out for the hook a while. You can see the teeth mark, then hold him like this. That's a 
you know what? Stop again. Stop again. Alright, Mr. Seafood man. One more against him, alright? Okay. Nice, come on, come on. Half one. Half one. Half one. Half one. Let me see. Two, 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 two. Third inside. Yeah. Decent one, man. Mangrove snapper. Yeah. So what you say now? So what you? What you say? What's 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 it's about a pound size jack. Pound size jack. So if you can try and cook him. Yeah, we can try now. I'll try it. Yeah. Jack, see? I think I'll go to the pudding now. What kind of jack? What type of jack? Let's see if we can find one. Alright. It's a danger, danger Monday. Come on, clear yourself. That one that one can. can do a little thing with him, you know? We're gonna roast him. Alright. Alright. I see footman, you woke up the door. What that man? Snapper? Yeah, yeah, snapper. Yeah, yeah, small. Yeah, nice one. one. Yeah, 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 not that big, but guess what? We call the rig again. The Carolina rig. Carolina rig. Yeah. yeah. See? I don't know what that rig is, but I use a knocker rig still. My knocker rig is bad enough. Silver right in between. Yeah. Yeah, line comes straight to the silver. Sink on the, on, the, on the main line. It's a leader. It's a 15 pound test. Yeah. This is a 17 pound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is about one ounce weight. It's a one ounce sinker. Oh, one ounce sinker. So we see fish again. Small nice thing, but you can't go on. You can't can go on. You can't 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 go on. You can yeah, I don't want to drop off of them store. I don't want to drop off of them store. Yeah, see that? I'm going to drop off of them store. 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 I'm going to drop this is my type of rig, knocker rig, right? Oh, nice knocker rig. Knocker rig, dude. Straight. Yeah, man. Straight knocker rig. See that? Yeah, I'll show you, you earlier put, you, you, put a, you put a bead on it, though. Yeah, I'll put a bead. What is that? What is that? Explain. Yeah, I put the bead on it right here. That this sinker don't go down and damage the, the, the line on the hook right here. Okay. So, so I'll put the bead to protect the hook on the line. Alright? Okay, that's that's All what right. happened. Alright boss. Yes man, that's a knocker. That's knockery. Right, put on the bait. Using, you see this bait what we're using is cut bait. Cut bait. They call this well out here them call it chopong fry, but it's not really chopong. The saber to would anchove it. You hear them on? Ah the boss catch one again. <laughs> man go. Yeah. Let me see him. Look at him. Came up to the to the camera, man. Okay. Wow! Mango up there. Mango yeah. Up there. Nice size. Another one, you know? Another eagle. Yeah, one. Nice one. Nice one. Alright. Another one. Another one. Alright. Another one. 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 Why do we don't we don't hook up so fast to rise? I can't catch you in action. I can catch you when I catch when when I show them. When I catch you and show them. Yeah. Ah. So the boss hook up one. One. What size? Alright, listen. Oh, ten inches, you know. Oh, ten. Yeah. What's a keeper? Yeah, I'm a keeper, you know. That's the boss. That's a mango. 
Yes. 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 Yes.